Okay then, in this video we'll write our first leaflet map. So in the previous video we set up our work environment, but we didn't set up a leaflet library. So that means if we, if we write any leaflet related code into main.js, it's not gonna work because simply we haven't set up our leaflet library into our project yet. So let's do that. So for that, we need to go to the official website of the leaflet library, which is leafletjs.com. So please go to this website. And in here, we have download section. Please go to this section. And when it comes to including leaflet library into your project, there are several ways of doing that. So the first one is by downloading the leaflet library and including it into your project. So for that, you simply need to click on this link. So the first one is stable version. And at the time of recording this video, the latest version is leaflet 171. So if it's 181 or 191, it still works, no problem. So, so again, this one, the first is stable version and this one is in progress. So that means it's the development. So it's still in the development mo uh, stage. So, um, so that means if you use this one, it still works, but it might have uh, some, some bugs and etc. But you will get all the latest features um, that you can't that that's not that are not available in the in the previous or in the stable version all right so uh, and also if you scroll down so we also have CDN so and the CDN would be another way of including leaflet library into your uh, project so CDN mean, means it's just a third-party provider and that CDN provides leaflet library uh, to you all right, so for that, you simply need to include these two tags. So the first one is, um, as you can see, uh, styles of the leaflet library. So and the second one is JavaScript of the uh, leaflet library. And also we have this one. So basically the difference between them is so this one, this, um, as you can see, has integrity attribute. And so that means this is more secure. Uh, that's because, you know, as I said before, CDN is a third party uh, provider. So that means if someone, let's say a bad person, if a bad person gains control over, over this leaflet CDN, that bad person may inject some bad code to this leaflet CDN. So then the, this leaflet library injected, you know, bad code injected leaflet library may potentially do something very bad to your leaflet library. Uh, sorry, not to your leaflet library, to your leaflet application. So that's why, so I recommend using this one rather than this one. All right, so I recommend you use this one, which has integrity attribute in it. So you can also read more about this integrity in here, sub resource integrity. So it tells you everything in much more detail, like how it works and etc. So if you are interested, please read that one. So now let's copy this. And I think this is the easiest way to include leaflet library into your project. All right, because in here you need to download it first and then unzip it and then include that into your project while in here you just copy paste them and put them into your leaflet um, index.html um, document and that's it. So so basically what you need to do is um, so what we need to do is so we will include um, styles of the leaflet library into the head section as we did with our styles.css so very easy and then in the body section, we will include script of the uh, leaflet library. All right, so like this. So now we are all done with the with including leaflet library into our project. So that means we can start writing our first leaflet map. So for that, we need to go to the main.js and we don't need this alert and console log. So please delete them altogether. So first of all, what we need to do is window on load init. So I'll explain this in a second why we need this one and then function init. So basically window on load init means so um, so this means so we have here our so 
application, right? So index.html. So when you say window on load init, so it will make sure that this when so it will run your init function or let's say the code that you will write in the init code will will run after this window has loaded has fully loaded so this is really helpful because um so your you know your leaflet library and everything loads up and afterwards so this function in it will fire up all right so so i think it's very easy to understand so now we can write our our first leaflet map so we'll write inside this function in it so now what we need to do is we should say const my map or leaflet map so and then l dot map so i will write uh, our uh, our first uh, uh, leaflet map and then afterwards i will explain this code all right so then what we need to do is basically in here we need to specify our html container that that will hold our leaflet map but we don't have that one in here. So that means we need to set up that one. So I will explain this one more time. So for now, just simply type div and then hit tab and this will create a div element in the index.html. And in here, please write your ID. So like div ID and then map ID. So I'll explain this in a second. So, and then copy this and please put it in here. So then afterwards, what we need to do is we need to specify our options, leaflet op map options. Don't worry if you don't understand everything in detail at the uh, at this stage. So now please write center and then let's specify the center. So for now, I'll write 14, 48, 48, 14. So then zoom level, so let's make it full. And then we need to specify a layer. So layers, it's not layer, it's layers. Please, uh, please pay attention to this. If you write layer, it's not gonna work. So layers, then, then in here we need to specify our um, base layer. So. Again, if you don't understand everything uh, completely, don't worry. So now in here, we need to specify URL for our layer. Don't worry, I will just copy paste one thing and I'll explain later on where to get that from. So actually, we can I can explain this right now. So basically what we need to do is we need to go to the official website of the Leaflet.js again. And from the, from the first page, this one, just go uh, scroll down a little bit and in here you have L tile layer and then here you have OpenStreetMap URL for the OpenStreetMap. Please copy this and then put it in here. Okay, so like this. So then what we need to do in here is we need to specify attribution. So that's gonna be credit for for the data provider, which is OpenStreetMap. Okay, so again in here we can copy paste from here attribution and then just copy the attribution string so okay we don't need this and that's it so now we have set up our leaflet library and we wrote our first leaflet um, interactive map but we need to go to styles and in here we have this background color red we don't need that anymore and then in here we need to specify height and width for our leaflet map so and in here if you if you remember we have map id that's the id of our uh, div element so just copy this map id and then paste it in here and don't forget this hashtag that's how we reference uh, div elements by id okay so then height so height would be 100 view height. So it means just uh, for your view, it's gonna be 100%. And for the width, it's gonna be 100%. And I will do it view width. So that's how you do it. 
Okay, so now what we did in here, we basically specified height and width for our HTML, uh, sorry, leaflet map container. So in here, we have specified our very basic leaflet map. And in here, in the index.html, we first of all uh, included a leaflet uh, styles file and as well as um, JavaScript for the leaflet library. Okay, so now let's go to our code, uh, sorry, web browser. And then if we refresh it, we should see our first leaflet map. All right, if you don't see this leaflet map, don't worry. So I'll, um, I will explain uh, debugging techniques um, in the later, in the second, in the, in the next video. But but if it doesn't work, please first of all, pay attention that you have wrote everything as in here. So you need to, you need to, be, we need to be very careful when it comes to, you know, like this one or that one or this. So if you make, for instance, layer, it's not going to work. So for instance, like this, you see, it's not working. So, um, so very basic map. And now I would like to explain what we did in here. Okay, so basically what we did is let's go to the official website of the leaflet library and don't worry about this. So let's go to the documents docs because we'll come to that code in a minute. So what we did is let's scroll down a little bit. And in here, I would like to, I would like to make one thing in here before I explain, before I start explaining. So in here, as you can see, we have map. So that's a, that's a uh, map object or map. Yeah, so we have created a map object, which is this one using this class, all right, lmap. So that's a central class of the API. So that's a leaflet, a central leaflet class. And using that class, we have created our map. As, um, and then afterwards, we specified our center and then we also specified zoom and then we specified layer. So that means for the leaflet map, for the very basic leaflet map, you need three things. So the, so the first one is center, you need zoom and then you need at least one layer. So if you skip this one center, I'll show you, it's not going to work. So you see, it's not going to work. And if you do, if you skip, for instance, zoom level, it's not going to work either. So I'll explain it. I'll show this. So you see, it's not working. So that means for the basic leaflet map, you need three things. So center, zoom, and then at least one layer. So let's go back to the official website. So as you can see, we did the same one and you can, you can, if you scroll down, so these are options. So these are control options. These are not very important at the moment. Interaction options like pop-up, close pop-up, click, and etc. So map state options. So in here, we, we have used this one, center, zoom, and then layers. All right, so for the center, latitude and longitude. So default is undefined, so that means you need to specify it. So then zoom level, so that's initial zoom level. Zoom level is this one, so if, if you specify like let's say different zoom level. So one, it's gonna zoom out. So you see it's zoom out. So if you write for instance five, so it will go five level in, so it will zoom in, all right? So, and then we specified layers. So array of layers that will be added to the map initially. And in here we have done, we have included open street map. So, and so, if you don't like this one, this one, there are other base maps, so I'll show you. So for that, what you need to do is you just need to go to leaflet base maps. You rewrite that one and then go to this one, leaflet extras.github.io. And in here, you can have a look into other um, base maps. So we have used this one, first one, but you can also find some other ones, like for instance, OpenStreetMap DE. So that means um, for for it's 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 the same open street map but in german language and this one i believe uh in swiss german and so that's for france and etc but we also have some other ones like this so if you want to use that so basically what you will do is so you just copy this url 
this one and then you need to paste it in here like this you just replace it but also you need to change don't forget to change the attribution because the attribution will change accordingly because this is not OpenStreetMap anymore so you simply just replace the attribution string like this so and if you go to the web browser again and then in here as you can see so it has changed it and the attribution appears in here at the bottom right hand side you can see in here all right so basically that's it regarding this video and again if you don't have this map this basic map don't worry because in the next video i'll explain some basic debugging style uh, basic debugging techniques um, that might help you with this uh, basic basically flat map okay that's it regarding this video and i'll see you in the next one